hello everyone welcome back to my channel jp khasi tech so if you are new to my channel please do subscribe now let's start the project first of all let's create the setting page just go inside the resources folder and then we need one folder and one file here so just right click on the rest folder go to new and select android resources file and under resources type select xml because we are going to use the xml folder and then the file name i'm going to call it preps you can give any as you want select ok and you see guys one file has been created as i told you so this is preps file just open this one and go to text and this is our setting page so let's go and create some object here so first i'm going to create the category so i'm going to call it preference category now let me give the title title will be enable night mode okay so just close it with close angular bracket go inside here and then create checkbox here for the night mode purpose so just call it checkbox preference and give the name for the checkbox i'm gonna give it night mode just below this we need the key key is just like the id for the checkbox so i'm gonna call it night so it will be easy so now give the default value default value means this checkbox will remain unchecked whenever the apps is installed for the first time so i'm gonna say false now let's give the summary so that the user will know it is night mode or day mode i'm gonna call night mode is activated okay now let's give another summary for the off purpose so i'm gonna call it summary off here i'm gonna call night mode is deactivated okay just close it with for slash control l l to rearrange the code now for the another items i'm just going to copy this category and then paste outside the preference category here okay now change the name for the second object category this one will be screen orientation okay now just here we need the another object so close it first open angular bracket for slash okay now just come inside this and then we need another object here so i'm gonna use the list preference so i'm gonna call open angular bracket list preference now give the title for the list so i'm gonna call it screen orientation or you can call it orientation as you want so i'm going to call it orientation only next i need the key for this or the id so the key i'm going to say capital letter orientation okay now just give the default value for this also actually it is not necessary so i'm going to call it default now just close it with for slash okay control alt l to rearrange the code now can you see guys here this is our orientation but we need the list here right so it will say auto portrait and then landscape so we need the entries and then entries value okay so let's go and create that one so first of all open this project and then we need inside this value folder so we need here so right click here go to new and then select value resources file here now inside the box type array okay and then select okay now this the file has been created inside the value now we have to create the values and then the items i'm going to use string array select so this the name will be items underscore and this is just a name okay like one two three four and any just close it with close angular bracket and go here inside and we are going to find the name so for example it is a name actually the item right now close the item and you can see there is two so inside here you have to type like i'm gonna give the name as auto we need two more so just copy this one paste here and then paste here okay so instead of auto i'm gonna call it portrait and then here i'm gonna call 
landscape okay now we need the value for this item so this is one two and three right so we have to create the value so for the value purpose we are going to use open angular and then select again string array the name i'm going to give the item items and the score and this time this is value you can write any as you want okay just close it and then go again here inside here inside we are going to create the value so just copy this one and then paste here okay now instead of auto this is number one and this is number two and this is number three right so just bring this one close okay now control l, l to rearrange now let's go and set this entries and an entry value to the list just go again to the preference here open this one and then you can see here in the list preference type entries okay entries and then the entries is inside the array right so first entries must be named so this one now next type again entry this time entry values okay so it is the values not the name so this time you select value this one okay now everything done now let's go and create the preference activity okay just go here and then here we have to create the preference activity just go here right click here and then go to new and then select java class so inside the box here i'm going to give name you can give any but i'm going to use preference and this preference activity will be extend to preference activity okay now just select ok you can see guys one file has been created java file just open that one and let's give the on create method for this one i'm going to call on create safe instance state bundle so this one okay this is the on create method but remove this one nullable and remove this line nullable import okay now you can see guys here is yellow because we have to add this activity in this one go to manifest go to manifest and then here just after this activity okay here we have to add another activity open angular bracket activity android colon activity name this time this is preference now just close it control l l okay now let's go back to the preference activity again here and let's link the xml that we have created just now with this one okay remember this one this preference xml just let's link here now just go here on create method there is one method called add preference from resources can you see guys this one add preference from resources you can see one line is there this means that this method is no more used in the api level 16 okay so you can use this method above the 16 so go inside the parameter and then say resources dot and then inside the resources folder i have one name folder xml inside the xml folder i have a name file preps okay now control l, l again to rearrange now everything done now let's go to the main activity and launch this setting activity from the main activity okay go here and then guys if you don't know how to implement the menu and on click method for the menu item then you can watch my previous video the link is in the description okay let's go here inside the on item selected and then i'm gonna use the switch statement here switch and then now copy this variable of the menu item copy this paste here okay now just say dot get item id okay outside this give open and close curly bracket go inside the curly bracket okay now here we are going to find the item okay cas r dot id dot and the id is setting colon now whenever the user will click on this setting i want that the setting page will be open right so i'm going to use the intent here intent i is equal to new intent okay so here i'm going to use the context this comma from this activity i want to go to the another activity which is the reference activity and that is actually a class class okay now just close this and let's start the activity so i'm gonna call activity start activity with the intent where is the intent 
this is the intent and then variable is this just copy this variable or you write directly here okay everything done control l l now let's run the project and see if it works okay guys you can see that the apps has launched successfully now let's see if the setting page is created or not just click in the option menu go to setting can you see guys the apps is working properly and you can see that the night mode is unchecked whenever the apps is installed for the first time and then this screen orientation is enabled can you see guys auto portrait and the landscape mode okay in the next video you will learn how we can save this state in the share preference only this guys for today thank you so much for watching please subscribe my channel